Well, I never really did one of these videos for the Radeon HD 7970 and 7950 launches, so I guess it's fitting that I get around to it now. Basically what I'm doing is my usual length and general physical comparisons between these various video cards. So here, the reasons I've chosen these particular cards for comparison are one, the Galaxy GTX 680 and the uh, Radeon HD 7970 are sort of the, the new kids on the block as far as high performance goes, with the GTX 680 being the newest of all of the cards here. The GTX 590 and the Radeon HD 6990 are the last generation king of the hill cards. Both of them are dual GPU solutions that perform similarly, especially once you overclock these, uh, these newer cards, to these newer single GPU cards. So we're going to see what kind of, uh, in addition to the much better power characteristics of the 680 and the 7970, how much smaller physically they are than their previous generation brethren. And the reason I'm including the GTX 580 is due to the fact that it, it was a similarly positioned card to the 680 from the last generation. So we want to see what improvements NVIDIA has made on comparing the last generation single GPU to the current generation single GPU card. So the 680 is exactly 10 inches long. One of the things I like about NVIDIA's reference cards is that they don't unnecessarily lengthen the card. So you see how the PCB ends here and the cooler ends here. This is something AMD just keeps doing and I can't fathom why they do this, but check this out. So the Radeon HD 7970, remember guys, this information is important if you need to fit one of these cards in your case. The 7970 is about 11 inches long. Now, what kills me about that is you guys can see quite clearly here, actually I hope you can see quite clearly here, the PCB ends here. So they've just got extra random plastic shroud, about, yeah, it looks like about a quarter of an inch of it, right off the back of the card. Why are you doing that? I had trouble fitting it inside a Shuttle XPC bare bones uh, due to that extra just little tiny bit of space. I mean, I did get it in, so it wasn't the end of the world, but it's just a little bit frustrating. Um, now, in terms of the other aspects of the layouts of these cards. These are both PCI Express 3.0 cards and they both have two power connectors. However, the GTX 680, due to its lower power consumption, has two six-pin power connectors in a unique stacked configuration. So NVIDIA's theory about this is it'll provide slightly better cable management as well as it buys as buy them more room on the PCB. You can see here that in theory it uses up less space, although you can yeah, I don't know how much I believe that because you can also clearly see next to the stacked configuration there are six contact points for where we could have put a six pin connector right here anyway. So yeah, um, you know, whatever. But so, okay, so in theory it gives them that. And uh, I mean, maybe, hey, maybe it's working because they do have a significantly shorter card than the Radeon HD 7970. You can't really tell. This is sort of poorly aligned in terms of the camera, but these are sitting at the same spot. So this is how much longer the 7970 is versus the GTX 680. So it has an eight pin and a six pin. Now let's compare these to some last generation cards. So here we go. You know what? Let's focus on the 680 since it is the newest card here. How long is it compared to a GTX 580? The 580 is slightly longer. Not by much. Oops. Oh, sorry. I'm having a little bit of trouble with my chest tripod today here, guys. There we go. Now I got it. So at 10 and a half inches versus 10 inches, um, there aren't too many cases where that half an inch is going to be the be-all and end-all, the, the actual difference. In fact, many cases are accepting graphics cards up to 12 inches, no problem these days. So it's something to be aware of, but if you have a gaming case, like any kind of decent case, it's probably not the end of the world. Now the GTX 590 at 11 inches is one of the longest graphics cards ever produced. Um, you know, for, I guess you could call it mainstream, but it isn't really. But for, for the general consumer market, it's got two 8-pin power connectors compared to, and this is a similarly performing card, especially in scenarios like 3D Vision. Uh, we are definitely uh, taking a step in the right direction, not to mention the substantially improved power consumption that we get with the GTX 680. And finally, the longest pure consumer card at one foot long, the Radeon 6990. So once again, these are similarly performing cards, but if you want to talk performance per inch, 
the uh, the 680 is looking pretty good, and for that matter, the 7970 looks pretty good too, especially once you start overclocking it. So to give you guys some context here, I've just brought along the motherboard because yeah, I can sort of measure these in terms of inches, but that really doesn't help you eyeball whether they're going to fit in your case. So let's take the 7970 and the GTX 680, and my chest tripod's broken again here, guys. Sorry about the shaky camera. All right, so you guys can visualize based on looking at your motherboard, where it sits in your case, and where the edge of your motherboard is. See that? So the 680 hangs just a little bit. Let's see how much it is. Looks like about a quarter of an inch, little over a quarter of an inch over the edge of your motherboard. So as long as you have that much clearance on the side of the board, then you should be fine. Next, we've got the 7970, which hangs about an inch and a quarter over the edge of a motherboard. So there you go. Hopefully that helps, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.